By far the most common question we get asked as astronauts is how do you go to the bathroom in space? So let's take a, uh, a peek at the process. This compartment is called the WHC, a NASA acronym for Waste and Hygiene Compartment, I think. We just know it as WHC. It's inside this, uh, this we call the stall, which is a, uh, a couple of walls and a door that give you some privacy because you're right in the middle of node three with a treadmill on one side of the toilet the weight machine we call A-RED. On the other side and down in the floor, our awesome window called the cupola. And this is a high traffic area. People are coming and going. Uh, so you need the privacy. First of all, the desire to go, the need to go, to go is very similar as on Earth. Where you just know you have to go. It doesn't feel any different because the fluid might be floating in your bladder or something. No, that's it. It's just the exact same uh, sensation you know you got to go either one number one or number two so you've already you've decided that you float into the WHC and we have the toilet which consists of a seat and a metal bucket that we call a keteo which is a Russian acronym for something, container of something. And, uh, but it, it holds about, depending on how many people are here, it holds about um, maybe 30 deposits. And we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. The urine goes into this hose right here. And this valve is what activates the whole system. Okay, these are the two primary control panels for the WHC. When the system is ready for use, it's a V. This means it's going to the UPA. So we say, check that it's V to P. All right, now we're on the inside of the hygiene compartment. Close the door so that you have your privacy. You take the funnel. This knob right here activates the whole system. It's very, very uh, convenient because it's just one valve operates it all. But should the, in the event that you uh, forget how the system operates or you're brand new here and you just want to double check, in good NASA fashion, we have a checklist. This is called uh, Procedure 2.301, the no WHC Nominal Operations Cue Card. It's got several blocks for operations. So there's two different ways that where the pee can go. It can just go into a bucket, which is called a yedeve, and uh, essentially you're just peeing until that bucket's filled up and then you have to swap out the bucket. Or you can configure WHC to UPA, and the urine processor assembly, and, uh, and that way the urine is going right in, directly into the system, and that's where we normally keep it. Uh, and it's most convenient for the crew members because you're not constantly changing out a tank. So there's a couple blocks to tell you how to make those, those, those changes and, uh, and some detailed steps if you need to know how exactly to do it. And in case things go wrong with the hardware, not yourself, there's the WHC malfunctions cue card. And we thought, thought of all the different light combinations in the failure modes. And, and, uh, but the bottom line is if there's a red light, we talk to the ground and together we we figure out the path forward. Okay, back to normal operations. Time to go. You take the valve and uh, you turn it on. You hear the fan noise. Check for airflow. I'll show you that there is, in fact, airflow. So a little bit of airflow and that helps everything flow in the right direction. We've got our uh, simulator and that's where your business goes. You're complete.
you want to be a good crew member, so you make sure that you wipe off the excess, use a disinfectant wipe occasionally or often, and then you simply turn the valve off. But I want to show you number two as well, so I'll leave it running and we'll roll right into that. Okay, when it is time to go, you flip this lever here and that lifts up the lid. The seat here is about oh, five or six inches in diameter and there is a, a plastic liner in there which where your deposit goes. What I have here is green beans and mushrooms and I do not like mushrooms so I don't mind contributing this piece of uh, food in the name of education. So pretend I ate this yesterday and now it goes into there. You clean yourself and the wipes go into there as well. You take this red tab, you pull it off the rim and depends on how full the container is. This one's about halfway through. We do have a, a stick and you push it down in there with all its other friends and then it's time to put a new bag on. To put a new bag on, you separate, you pull that, it's like a hair scrunchie and get it all so it has max capacity there and ready to go. Close it up. Close the lid. Now you've gone number one. Number two, you cleaned yourself up and uh, it's time to turn the system off. You just take this valve Rotate it to off, the fan spins down, the system checks itself, all the lights go out, and you're done. So congratulations, you've just used the WHC for the first time and you've learned about the process. hope it's educational, but I don't think it's going to lessen the amount of times I have to answer that question. Thanks for watching.